This is a quick tutorial on adding a logo to video footage, such as GoPro footage or uh, something like that, and um, how to export it out of Photoshop. And this is assuming you're using Photoshop because you don't have something like Premiere or After Effects, something like that. So let's get started real quick. Um, what you do is first open up your video file. So we'll browse to our file. Now let's pick. Uh, these files and that opens up and um, if you're in Photoshop um, you want to make sure your timeline window is open if it's not open if it looks like this and it's off go to window and choose timeline and there it is and we can trim this video like I don't want my face in here looking at the GoPro so let's trim that out of there clicking and dragging and um, now to add the the logo or the watermark, you know you want to put it probably in one of these corners. Let's browse to a file that's uh, going to work as our logo. So we'll go to File, Open, some Dropbox. And let's grab this file. This is a PSD file with a, a transparent background. You don't have to have a transparent background, but in this case, I, I like how it looks, so we'll use that. And what I'll do now is I will copy this and paste it into the other document that's open over here. Okay, so let's just go uh, Control A on the keyboard. That'll select everything. So you see the little marching ants here. Go to Edit Copy. And now let's go back to our video. And uh, we can choose Paste right now, and I'll show you what happens when we choose Paste right now. Let's just go Edit Paste. It actually pastes it to the end of the video, which is not what we want at all. We want this to be above this video track. So what we can do is go to our Layers panel, click and drag this out of that little group, this video group, drag it up there. And now you'll see that it's above the uh, track of video. And now we can click on it and we can drag it over. So now it sits on top of our video. Now of course it's gigantic, so we're gonna wanna scale that down. So let's drag this timeline out of the way. Go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and I'll just hold the Shift key to maintain the aspect ratio. And I'll drag it down. And a faster way to do this actually is to hit Control-0 on your keyboard. Control-0 will show you the entire graphic. So it shows you the outline of the graphic. So we can now just grab the edge here, grab this corner, click and drag, hold the Shift key down as you're dragging, and position this. And just push enter on the keyboard to apply that. And now if I double click the little hand icon, that'll zoom this up full screen. And I can reposition this as I want to. Click on the move tool, click and drag. It's still too big, so we'll go back to edit, transform scale. Hold shift, click and drag until it's more along the size you want. Let me also stick it over here. And you can also, if you like, just push enter. If you like, you can change the opacity of this. Like right now it's full opacity. We can go over here to opacity on this layer. And if you want it to be a little bit less opaque, there you go. If you like it fully, if you want full opacity, just keep it at 100. Okay, so now you have your, your logo. It's placed wherever you want to place it. And we can play the video now. Oh, hang on, actually. So now um, what you're going to want to do is you can see that this logo is on the timeline and it's in the right place, but it's showing that it's going to cut off at a certain point, which you don't want. You want it to last the entire length of the, uh, the video. So if you click this edge here, you can trim the uh, logo so it covers the entire span of the video. Now when we play it, it's down there the whole time. So if I push play, you can see that our logo is down there, looks good. and it looks good. So um, the next step, obviously, is to get this thing out of Photoshop, and the way we do that is exporting. So let's go to File, choose Export, and you're going to want to choose Render Video. Okay. Um, Depending on your version of Photoshop, this may look different, but basically 
Document size is fine. Uh, this was shot at 1920 by 1080, so that's good. Frame rate's fine. Uh, this version of Photoshop, with it, which is uh, CC 2015, has a preset for YouTube 1080p. That's what we're going to YouTube with this, so let's click on that. And uh, the other thing we have to check here is where is the file going and what do you want to call it. So let's rename this to, uh, say, Viking with logo. And that should be good. Um, if I want to change the duration, I can do it here. I can say, let's for the sake of demo, let's make this go from start frame, I don't know, 400 to in frame 600. So it's very quick. Let's render that. So off it goes. It's exporting the video. It's only doing 200 frames. So it's going to go pretty fast. And let's go take a look. So here it is. Three, three seconds long. <laughs> but there's our video with logo integration. Looks pretty good. Quality's good. We can loop this so it just plays. So there you go. So that's ready for uh, uploading to YouTube with your logo integrated into it. And uh, that's it. So I hope this helped.